वेलकम बैक टू द जावा प्रोग्रामिंग सीरीज एंड टुडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू राइट डाउन द प्रोग्राम टू प्रिंट 1 टू 10 सो इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोग्राम सो इफ यू कैन एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस प्रोग्राम देन यू विल एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल द लूपिंग प्रोग्राम सो बिफोर वी जंप इनटू द प्रोग्राम लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रोग्राम डेफिनेशन सो वी हैव टू प्रिंट 1 टू 10 इनटू द कंसोल राइट सो लेट्स फोकस ऑन द 1 टू 5 लेट्स से आई वांट टू प्रिंट 1 टू 5 इनटू द कंसोल so definitely one way we can just write down the system dot out dot print ln five times so i can just write down the system dot out dot print ln five times and i will just try to print one two three four five so if i'll run this program so definitely output will be one two three four five but this is not the feasible approach because let's say next program i will give you to print one two thousand so you have to write down the thousand lines which is not feasible so what we can do can you see some repetition into this program? Yes. So you can see we are just executing system.out.println multiple times. Right. We are just executing system.out.println five times. So system.out.println is the constant and the number is a variable. Number is not constant. Number is changing. It's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right. So for system.out.println we have to keep as it is. And where we have a variable, I can just store that into one variable. Let's say integer i is equal to 1. Perfect. So if I'll try to print the value of i, if I'll run this program, definitely it will print the value 1. Right. It will print the value of i, which is 1. So we are achieving our first output. So if I'll just try to print second time, so it will just print second time 1. Right. Because we are just trying to print the value of i two times so output will be one and one but what we want second time we want two so after printing the first time i can just do i plus plus that means we are incrementing the value of variable by one so second time it will print two so we are getting the output one and two perfect so now i can just write down this statement three more times four five so if i'll run this program now it will print one two three four five so you can pause the video and try to understand what we have written so far. Perfect. So now you can able to see that we have a everything constant, right? So if you look at this two statement, again two statement, again two statement, again two statement, right? So we have to execute this two statement five times, right? So I'll just remove everything. And for this two statement, we need to do the repetition, right? And we know that whenever we want to do the repetition in Java, we have a looping so i can just write down the while loop uh, let's say while i will just write down some condition and i'll write down opening curly bracket and i'll just write down the closing curly bracket okay so this is the syntax for the while loop uh, we just have to write down the condition opening curly bracket and closing curly bracket and whatever statement you are writing between this opening curly bracket and closing curly bracket will get executed till the time this condition is not becoming false once this condition is false, it will just exit the while loop. Okay, so now we just have to identify this condition. What is the condition we have to write down so that this statement will get executed five times. So first time it will print one, it will do increment. So second time it will print two, again increment, three, again increment, four, again increment, five. We need to print five, right? Again increment, six. So whenever value of i will be 6, we have to just exit this loop. So I can just write down the condition i is not equal to 6. We have to execute this condition or this loop till the time i is not becoming 6, right? So let me just run this program and now you can see that we are getting the output 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So again, you can pause the video, try to understand this program. There is also another way to write down this condition because we want to execute 5 times we can just write down less than or equal to 5. So this condition is true if we have a value of i less than or equal to 5. Right. Whenever there is a value of i will be 6. At that time this condition will get failed. So I can just execute this program and still we will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Perfect. There is another way also. I can just write down less than 6. So I just want to execute this while loop till the time value of i is less than 6. Okay, it's not less than or equal to. I just want to execute less than 6. So it will get executed till 5 times. 
okay i can just run this program and you can see here still we are getting the same output 1 2 3 4 5 perfect so let's just keep less than or equal to 5 okay and let's try to understand the execution of this program so first of all we are initializing the value of i with the 1 so i can just write down the value of i starting from 1 okay then i'll just check what will be the output so first we are checking the condition i which is 1 less than or equal to 5 yes condition is true right because 1 is less than 5 it will print the value of i which is the 1 and it will do i plus plus so value of i is now 2 right again it will check the condition 2 less than or equal to 5 yes condition is true it will print the value of i which is the 2 again it will do i plus plus so now 3 again it will check the condition 3 less than or equal to 5 yes still it is less than or equal to 5 so it will print 3 in the output then again it will do i plus plus so i is now 4 again it will check the condition 4 less than or equal to 5 yes condition is true it will print the value of i which is the 4 i plus plus so 5 again it will check the condition 5 less than or equal to 5 yes condition is true right so it will print the value of i which is 5 it will do i plus plus so i is now 6 again it will check 6 less than or equal to 5 no 6 is not less than or not equal to 5 so it will break this condition so ultimately it will break the while loop and it will just exit the program because we don't have a, any statement after the while loop so finally output will be 1 2 3 4 5 excellent so i hope you are clear now how to print 1 2 5 right so now if you want to print 1 to 10 what we have to do we just have to change the condition we don't have to break the condition at the 5 we just have to break the condition at the 10 so if i'll run this program then it will print 1 to 10 okay so if i want to print 1 to 50 i can just write down 1 to 50 if i'll run this program then it will print the 1 to 50 okay perfect now if i want to do this program with the for loop it's very easy i can just replace while with the for okay and for loop has a three component first one is the initialization so i just have to write down initialization in one bracket second one is the condition and the third one is the increment or decrement okay so in the while loop we have to write down separately but in the for loop we just have to write down everything in one bracket so you can say for loop is the simplified version of the while loop because you can see it's very easy to read the for loop so everything that controls the loop will be inside the bracket and what repetition you want to do that will be inside the curly braces right so this is the where we are controlling the loop and this is the where we are just trying to print some statement repeatedly right so this will also print 1 to 50 right i'll just remove the 0 and let's try to print 1 to 5 okay so similarly it will print 1 to 5 okay so starting from 1 less than or equal to 5 plus plus and we are just printing the value of i so it's very important to understand this for loop just spend at least half an hour to understand the for loop because it's a basic it's a base of all the looping program okay excellent so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any comments regarding this video try to write down into the comment section Thanks everyone and we'll see you into the next video.